Hi, Neil here from Portainer. So today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how to use the Rancher's K3D to deploy K3S and then use Portainer to manage it. So first of all here we've got the K3D uh, installation page, k3d.io. And if you see, you scroll down here, there's a very simple installation script that you need to run to get it installed. And one thing that's not immediately obvious though is for this script to work, you need to have some prereqs deployed. Uh, which includes Docker and kubectl. So I have a brand new Ubuntu 18 machine here and I'll go through and install the prereqs and then we will install K3D. So first thing you need to do is go to the Docker engine installation page for Ubuntu, uh, scroll down and follow the instructions. Uh, not rocket science here, just go through follow the follow the instructions to get it installed. So install the requirements for Docker. Okay, now these prereqs are installed, we come back and do the next script, which is to add the Docker's uh, GPG key. So we'll just do that. So that's added. And we come down and we add the Docker repo. Okay, that's done. And then we just need to install Docker CE. So we'll just run this simple command and off we go. Let it now complete the installation of Docker. Okay, Docker is now installed. We'll just quickly check that. Docker info. And here we go. So that's now Docker. Now we want to set up kubectl. So again, the Kubernetes IO download page here. And we want to go and install kubectl on Linux. So we just have to copy the this command and run this. So there we go. It's going to download the binary. Uh, then we need to go through and make the binary executable and then move the binary into the path. So there we go. So now we have kubectl and we can quickly check that with kubectl version client. There we go. Okay, so now we have kubectl and Docker installed and running. So back to the K3D install. So now you can simply just come and grab this installation script and run this script. What this does here is simply downloads and installs the components of K3S. It does not actually configure, uh, sorry, K3D. It does not actually install or configure K3S at this point in time. This is simply installing the K3D uh, program files. So that's K3D now installed. Now, what you need to do now to, you can either come and see this quick start, so K3D cluster create my cluster to go and create just a really, really simple single node server cluster. Uh, but to do anything more advanced, which is what we want to do here, you come into usage and you can see all of the uh, command options. So we want to do K3D cluster create. So we want to create a cluster. Uh, we want to use the flag API port because we want to expose the Kubernetes API externally. Uh, we will want to define a number of servers. In our case, we're just going to have a single server, a single Kubernetes master. And we will deploy three agents, so three workers, uh, to give us a four node cluster. Now, one thing that's not immediately obvious with K3D is that there is this, this flag here, dash dash port. Now this port is where you are telling K3D what ports of the Kubernetes cluster you want to pass through to the Docker host. Now if you do not set this, then nothing you deploy inside uh, K3S will be able to be uh, accessed outside the cluster. So ordinarily you may do dash p 8080 and that will allow you to publish port 80 uh, on the host through to the Kubernetes environment. Um, because we want a bit more flexibility in the lab environment, uh, I recommend that you basically publish the entire node port range. So 30,000 through to 32762 and just publish that whole range through to the host. If you forget to do this, you can't change it after the, um, uh, after the effect. You have to delete the entire cluster and redeploy it. So in our case now, 
what we want to do is basically run the command k3d cluster create portainer. We want to publish the Kubernetes port as port 6443 externally on the host. We want one server and three agents, and we want to publish port 30,000 through to 32767 on the host and map that through to the server zero environment, which is the manager or master. So we will do that. It's going to go and pull the images that are needed to deploy the server and deploy the workers. And then when that's done, we'll have a functioning K3 environment. Okay, so this has created the the three worker nodes, created the, the the manager node, deployed the load balancer, and is now going to deploy the proxy. So that's going to happen now. Here we go. That's done. So now we can do kubectl cluster info, and we'll get information about the cluster we've just deployed. And we can do kubectl get nodes. And you see there are the four nodes that we've deployed. Now you can see how this looks in Docker, Docker PS. And you can see here there is one container for each node of the cluster and then one for the load balancer. And you can see here that we have mapped 6443 on the proxy uh, through. That's the API port. And you can see here on the on the server node, we've mapped uh, 30,000 through 32767 uh, on the host through to the server container. So now we can go and deploy Portainer. So here is the Portainer Kubernetes beta download. So we want to do this via a node port. So we simply grab this command here and we run that. And then we run the command to deploy it. Here we go. Now kubectl get pods namespace portainer. And you see it's container creating. At this point in time, it is actually pulling the image down. So we just have to wait for that to complete. Just try that again. Okay, so now it's running. So now in our browser, we can go 192.168.100.29.30.777. Here's the portainer page. the user, Kubernetes, local path storage, uh, no load balancer, save it. And here we have our environment. So come in, click on cluster, and here are the four nodes. You can see the manager or, or server node and then the worker nodes and the configuration and K3S. So I can now come in and deploy an application. So if I say I want to deploy an application called Nginx, Nginx, default resource pool, I will put this on the cluster and I will just have any port and it's going to go to a random port, deploy and wait for this to deploy now. Uh, eventually you'll see the port that it gets deployed on and then we can try and open that and show you that the port mapping is working fine. Okay, so that is now deployed. It's up and running. So we come back to the applications, see Nginx here, click on port mappings, Nginx, and you can see it's exposed on 31769. So I can take the same IP address, 31769, and welcome to Nginx. So you can see here just by uh, allowing all of those those node ports through uh, when I created the cluster, I can just publish any any uh, application I like through Kubernetes, and it's automatically exposed on the host. So that little that little nugget there is is slightly missing information uh, in the K3D um, documentation. Uh, it really helps uh, if you if you publish all ports um, to your or, or to one node, uh, and then you can publish anything you like inside Kubernetes. I will post all of the commands I used uh, in the comments below this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Otherwise, enjoy.